So this is the mechanism I made to move canopies. Uh, I didn't really want to use a linear uh, drive. I wanted to try to do something. Uh, it sort of did what I want. I'm not sure I'd do it again, but you know, I'm having to document this or I'll forget how I did it myself. So to give you an idea, this is where the instrument panel would be. So in my plane, the instrument panel is, uh, is like right here. So that gives you an idea of how this works. So the instrument panel is right there. This is all behind the instrument panel. And then the canopy, of course, would go right about there, the front of the canopy. That gives you an idea of how it works. <clears throat> this part goes behind the seat. This is just a frame to hold it together. And this is the business end. This is all hidden. Uh, the sides of the fuselage go here and here. Um, so the trick to this is this... Uh, in the old days, I think we would have just called this a sail winch servo. Um, this is a, um, which are usually 360 degrees. I guess some were more, but this is actually multiple turns. Um, this is a five turn. Um, so for a variety of reasons, you can't run this that many turns. You can't wind it onto the cylinder um, the right way. Um, I'm not sure why, I could probably do the math. But anyway, as you can see, this, this is a single uh, drum, and it's got two um, cables on it, uh, or independent, but basically they're, they're secured on both ends, so it's a closed loop. So there's two of them. There's one that goes this way, and there's one that goes this way. And you can see the trick is you, the lines cross each other on one side. As you can see, you can kind of mount this anywhere you want. Um, important part of this is this bar here uh, in the aircraft it's actually free to float um, this way and that takes that keeps these um, tensions the same on either side and that's really important I guess you could probably do this with a 90 degree servo but this drum would get super big so um, give me an idea of how it works so if you imagine these are the little pickup points in the plane where the canopy would attach where these little um, these little pieces of tape are. So you can see that would be in the front, so that would be the canopy closed, and then it goes to the back. And um, of course, this is infinitely adjustable in the plane. So the speed and the endpoints, it's just like a regular servo, it just turns a whole lot. Um, like I said, I'm not sure I would do it again. Um, it is fairly lightweight. I actually made a version that used an N20 little tiny motor for this and a little microcontroller. It's about an ounce lighter, but this is this is all off the shelf. You can buy the drum, um, this servo, all from Servo City, and the rest of this is 3D printed specifically for uh, for the plane. I'll post another video of how it works uh, in in the plane.